Hi, I'm Dean Landsman at Jefferson Scranton Community High School. I am the co-head football coach here and also the defensive coordinator for the last seven years. I would like to spend some time going over and teaching you our goal line philosophy, which is a very valuable part of our defense. I feel at any time and any point in the game, no matter where we're at on the field, if it is a situation that we need to, we will definitely jump into our goal line defense. We practice it every day. We go through different situations with it. We have basically our own um, defensive stunt package fits right into it, so we never have to change anything in terms of personnel. We can jump right into it at any point in the game. So I'd like to go through a couple segments here with you and, number one, show you our alignment for every player, and then I'll come back and I will go over their um, keys and how we adjust to different situations. So first of all, I just like I've got up here um, on the board kind of a, a normal um, offensive set. You might see somewhere in a short yardage situation, um, double tights uh, with a flanker. And this is how we would align to it. We take our two defensive tackles and we put them right here in both A gaps, um, tilted on the center. Then what we do is we bring up two of our linebackers and we put them head up on both tackles. And then we take our ends and we put our ends head up on the last man on the line of scrimmage. All right? Sometimes you might have a floater where there's no tight end on that side. They'll just be standing out there um, kind of in space. But that is how we align our front six in our goal line package. We take our Mike linebacker and put him head up center. We take our two safeties, our strong safety and free safety. Our strong safety would be right here, stacked right behind the defensive end on that side. Our free safety is stacked behind the end on the weak side. On our strong side then, we have our corner, who will be playing the split, and then we'll have our other corner, which will be playing out in space. This is our defensive alignment for our goal line defense. We play a 4-3, so our alignment, all we have to do is just slide everybody into their perspective um, spot without changing any personnel. We can change personnel. We might go a goal line heavy situation and maybe we want some heavier people here in the linebacker spots. We can do that if we get closer to, to a goal line uh, situation, maybe inside the 10. Otherwise, at any point in the game, as I mentioned before, we can put these guys in, call goal line, and they know exactly what they are doing. Um, it's, like I said, it's a big component for us. A couple years ago in the playoffs, in the middle of the field, the team four times, had fourth and short, and we stopped them all four times. So it's very successful to us. Kids take a lot of pride in our goal line defense, and it's been a tremendous asset to us. This goal line defense has been used here at Jefferson Scranton for the last 30 years, and it's been very successful. Um, it's a one key component. When I came in seven years ago, that I thought very, uh, very highly of and, and decided that we're going to keep that because it works so successfully. So that's our overall alignment, and at this point, I will close this first segment.